While enjoying time with family and friends on Thanksgiving yesterday, I got a call from my friend Sean Porter who told me to meet him at the manor house. I mean, I had always passed the manor house growing up in East Orleans, but I had no idea it was a food pantry that got all of its food from donations from organizations and people in the community. Well, when I pulled up, this is what I saw. I hope you enjoy it. I just left from um, delivering food to a lot of people uh, down there in the apartments, disabled who cannot move in wheelchairs, making sure that they have Thanksgiving. I absolutely love it. This program is awesome. Manor House, please donate to the Manor House because the work we are doing in our community is very impactful. All right, I love it, I'm here. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I know everybody with their loved ones, but please remember those who are less fortunate, who are homeless, who cannot have family with their Thanksgiving. Remember those as well. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right, my girls right here are like killing it. The, the girls squad right here, this is Black Girl Magic right here. They are killing it. Yes. So y'all remember where y'all stopped? How long you been doing this? Uh, about a year and a half now after I retired. Oh, okay. I came in when I retired. So it's it's something to do in place of. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. It's, it's, it's fulfilling. It's yeah. Been I, sitting at home. I salute you. <laughs> yeah, been. I'm sitting the one now. So. Oh wow, that's a blessing. I hope I make it that far. I only yeah. got a little ways to go. Yeah, you got a while. <laughs> But it be, it's, it's nice, but it'd be all right. You know, you come here and work a little while and go home and relax. Yep, people like Mr. Joe and so many others come in every day and they volunteer their services for no pay. Well, kind of, sort of no pay. Well, as you'll find out after listening to a few people talk, doing this type of service, it pays them in so many ways. You see how happy they are? Everybody smiling and happy-go-lucky to be doing what they're doing because they know they're doing something good and they're giving back to the community and the people that are less fortunate. I found out that in many ways, this pays better than cash. From the cooks to the people helping and assisting in any way possible, everyone found a way to explain to me how it enhanced their life. So anyway. tell me what you do here. What's your job? Man, my job is, my job is, I ride around, I feed the home, the neatest one, and I go around, do the pickup, the bread and stuff, and come back, make sure the yard clean, and do everything else. And how long you been doing this? About for, about a couple, about, about four months now. Four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. So in these four months, has it transformed your life? Is it a different feeling? What, what? gravitated you to, you know, giving a, your service? Oh man, when I, when, I, when I first started meeting them, the ones like in the wheelchair and all that, you know, going around there, you know, knocking on their door and giving their food and stuff out, that made me feel good. Cause you never know, one day you might need the same thing. Mm, that's dope. Well, we just want to salute you for your service in the community, my brother. Tell everybody what's your name. My name is Matthew Gamble. And where you from, Matthew? I'm from Savannah Grove. Yeah, they, they, what they call you? They call me Bim. Bim, what the, why, why they call you that? Man, it's a nickname my mom never gave me ever since I was a little coming up. <laughs> okay, so like Bim, we gonna give you a break on that jersey you wearing <laughs> right there. <laughs> he does good in the community. Don't judge him by his team selection. Mr. Joe said we gonna give him a break. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna be on him, though. So you can see what I mean, man. I mean, it really was a good feeling, man. People felt good helping people. And the less fortunate man, they came and they got their dinners and, and they, they fellowship together out in the front. And because of the COVID structure, you know, everyone's going to the window now. They're not serving inside, but you'll find out that um, that was a benefit in a way. They were able to feed more souls of the community. I love that. How long you been doing this? Two years. Two years? You want to call it in the morning? Um, yeah, put the college in the morning. Go ahead, Mom. I'm them sorry. Them yeah, two years. What made you decide to do it? Well, I worked for a farm school in one for 20 years. 22 years, and then they wanted 
one of these new people and they decided to fire me. So now that they fired me, I started my own business. And my own business, in between time, I had time to prepare. So Ms. Warren introduced me to this place and I've been here ever since. I started volunteering. I volunteered for a while and then now I'm just head over the kitchen. Oh, so that's a beautiful thing. Invest a little time and move on up. And move on up. Hey, and I'm, it feels good. Hey, Amen. I'm proud of you. Keep doing your thing. Thank you. I will. And even some kids got involved, you know. The head chef, she brought out her grandbabies and one of their friends, and, and they helped pack all these bags all by themselves. And they were so proud of themselves for doing it. Yeah, it's just a big thing going on in the community. Thanks, man. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here today. We are having a Thanksgiving feast at the Manor House, feeding our less fortunate folks and homeless folks in Florence. Have a big turkey, ham, you name it, supper. About a five course meal. We're serving several hundred here out the window, and also uh, we just delivered 200 meals to some different um, housing areas in the surrounding neighborhoods for older people that can't get out and they burn so we uh, we deliver them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday so we no and, nice and tell the people who you are. Uh, my name is Bryant Stokes. I'm a volunteer here at the Manor House and also serve as a board member. Oh no doubt. So how long have you been doing this and how long have you been on the board? I've uh, been on the board for two years and been volunteering here for three and a half years. Mm, so what made you volunteer your service for this type of thing. I mean, like, it's a lot, it takes a lot of time, giving up your time. I'm sure you have your own things going on. What made you decide this was what you were going to do? Well, it coincided with uh, becoming a born-again Christian, learning to serve others, and my daughter Lauren and I came up here one day uh, about three and a half years ago, and after the first day, we knew we were, we were hooked, and uh, we knew we had to keep helping people, and it's, uh, this place has transformed my life, so we, we love doing God's work, and these ladies around here are angels and saints, and uh, they do all the hard work, but uh, we really enjoy it, and serving the less fortunate, and it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. I always tell everybody, if you haven't tried it, try it. Come volunteer. It'll, uh, from a selfish standpoint, you get a lot more out of it. I promise you, the return on investment is phenomenal. We well, really enjoy it. I, I just want to thank you myself. My name is Malik Williams, if you don't know who I am. I'm CEO of CarolinaRaw.com. That's Carolina Raw with a K. We will highlight you, and we just want to salute you for your efforts in the community. Thank you so much. We all doing it for God. That's the number one thing I've learned from these folks, and it is true. Serving others. Amen. Thank you, brother.